We face many concerns about sustainability as Native peoples in America today. With economic pressures, social change, and a changing climate pushing this generation further from the ways of our grandparents, we find that traditional and modern tools provide us with the means to not only survive, but also thrive in America today. My name is Stephen Hawley Tukunkaiga from Tionic, Alaska. The name Stephen was given to me by my parents, the name Holly was given to me by my dad, and the name Tukunkaiga was given to me by a culture bearer from my village. It means wolf shadow, but a shadow of the self, kind of like a spirit. My tribal nation is Denaina. We are the many people. We are five different dialects or Hitana of Athabaskan speaking people located in South Central Alaska. Today, our home houses hundreds of dialects and knowledge from around the nation and world. My family is from the Tabona of the native village of Tayonik. Tabona means beach people. And of the Denaina, we are from what is now called the Upper Inland Hitana. My clan is Nolchina, the Sky Clan. Most of my people still live in our traditional area, which also happens to be the most densely populated area of Alaska. After graduating high school, I didn't pursue any scholastic achievements. I pursued an income. My first job outside of my hometown was in Alabama for a company owned by my Alaska Native Corporation. Although I was far from home, the company acted as family and my child was supportive of the whole way. While in Alabama, I was elected by my tribal council and Native Corporation board to sit on a committee to learn from them. After moving back to Alaska, I was hired by my village's corporation to work for my people and, and our land. I later took what I learned to work for communities across the state of Alaska with Alaska Village Initiatives. <clears throat> Shishi Dashi Iji. This is me, this is who I am. My people are Denaina. My tribe is Tabono. My clan is Nochina. I'm a landsman by trade, and I work for my people as a businessman and leader. I was taught by my people, my friends, co-workers in my community. AVI is one of America's first community enterprise development corporations. It was created to fight Woodrow Wilson's war on poverty, and its job is to assist Alaska's rural communities to build their economies. We go where invited, and as a result, AVI works directly with over 200 villages across the state of Alaska. This relationship allows us to meet rural residents where they are. By keeping to the values of our members, who are the rural communities and business owners, and following the direction of our board, who are leaders in the regions they represent, we bring meaningful solutions with extensive knowledge and experience of working with Alaska villages. Many of these villages struggle to keep what has sustained them since time immemorial while bringing on modern tools that meet modern needs. To assist, AVI introduces vetted tools for sustainable villages and works directly with residents to, for success. And we do this within terms and conditions of the communities we serve. These logistically isolated communities rely on the mixed economy with a community food system that respects and shares from the land mixed with a commodity food system with purchase prices and market forces <clears throat> from industrial agriculture. This scenario makes community gardens and micro farms ideal tools to add to the toolbox of successful indigenous communities. Because controlling one's food system not only increases access to healthy foods, but bringing the community together to sustain the system is a natural solution for issues of food insecurity, helping with crime reduction, increasing access to tasty food. What we know and learn are the solutions to the problems in our community, and sustaining the knowledge we hold requires us to teach our replacements with the wisdom we gained. Modern tools coupled with traditional practices are key to cultural success in today's world. My dance group was started by us learning from recordings of our elders and teaching our youth. Modern tools added fuel to the cultural fire to be carried into the next generation, and recapturing the knowledge was held by our people is accomplished simply by folks gathering and collaborating. We are the answer to the question, will future generations remember our ways? Our actions allow our people to answer yes with confidence and pride. Our community is the foundation to our home, and we are the foundation to our community. The materials that provide for the foundation are food, water, and safety. These are gathered by ours and our community's efforts. This is how we invest into our foundation and share in its benefits. 
and sharing is how we build. We share our time and energy and people share meaningful experiences. This is how we invest our time to build character that finds and brings value into our community. While searching for values, care and guidance help ensure youth experience meaningful life lessons. Grandparents, aunties, and uncles provide both of these to society. They are the natural teachers and guides to the community. What if we all focus to teach the youth to work together and find value? We all eat. We we'll all have the next generation to teach. What if we taught them traditional modern tools to work together? How would that look? Today's generation is in a new time that requires past generations to work together. Without it, who will keep our knowledge? How will anyone know who we are? Who will pass our memories into the next generation? We will. Many things have changed, but the, need for, the needs for survival haven't. Our foundation still requires the three materials to be, to be provided for it. Traditional resources and tribal resources have changed, but the needs of the tribes to work together hasn't. Together, we will work to grow our community, but we can only grow as quickly as we can train our replacements. With your donation and our participation, we will show that neither of us is dependent or independent of each other. Instead, we will demonstrate that we are an interdependent community that not only survives, but thrives in America today. Together, we will meet this generation where they are at and on terms and conditions acceptable to them. Quote.